Okay, so spoiler alert. We're doing a full review of the full families here. K, T, Sammy, myself. I love this season. Season four, I think, is my favorite. It's Sammy great. and family take it away. This, to me, was the best season and the darkest as well, too. Go this ahead. is Stranger Things Season 4. Spoilers, so if you haven't watched it, watch it now. So, what happens in Stranger Things Season 4? So, it pretty much starts when Chrissy, a high school girl, um, dies and with Eddie, who kind of looks like Eddie Van Halen with the hair and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and when he and dies... these are new characters yeah, to Stranger Things. Yeah, new characters. Thing. They were not in the other seasons. So, he was with her. He was a witness when she died. So, everyone blamed it on him. But it was actually Vecna, who... He's like Freddy Krueger. So, Vecna is a new villain of this season four guys season four what i liked what they did in it and k you want to join in there mm -hmm. is so many 80s references to this so many so many basically vecna is freddy krueger he is that's the first thing guys. he said, comes to them in their dreams when they're like dreaming he looks for weaknesses and he fears. feeds off their fears yeah. basically so if they've done something naughty in the past or they have regret and fear and they feel then guilty. obviously he he feeds off of the guilt off of the pain they feel like, from what they've done or what they feel they've done, even if it wasn't exactly their fault, what they feel that they've done wrong, that they're responsible for someone's death, someone's life being ruined, and they feel so guilty, and he feeds off that. He torments them until their death. And, and it's and it's really intense how they kill the, the victim. So it's just like, it's, it's homage to the very first Nightmare on Elm Street, where if you guys have watched the very first Nightmare on Elm Street, where uh, Johnny Depp's girlfriend gets killed, and she goes up to the ceiling and she gets broken apart and basically torn apart. It's pure nightmare in Elm Street. Yeah, the, the first time I watched that, when the bones cracked, I was like, oh my, oh my it, God. It, and, then, and then the eyes exploding. So, so there's Eddie. So he, Eddie looks exactly like... Eddie Van Halen. Eddie Van Halen. Yeah, that's Woo! pure tribute. Good job, uh, Duffy Brothers, uh, doing a tribute to Van Halen. Um, Eddie's, and there is Vecna, so... And there's like a portal? So every single time Vecna kills somebody, it opens a portal or a gate to, to the upside down. Yeah. yeah, so they kept that consistent in the season four now um 11 basically they, they also touch base about bullying and harassment which i think yep. is a good thing they're doing and we see 11 kind of explode which is great yeah. but 11k has lost her powers i forgot about that and then she has to go back to she has to basically get retrained right she has to so she try to get owen. them back so a lot of things go on but ultimately she is back with owen and surprise, surprise, who Papa. is alive? What do we see? Papa. Pa so we don't really know how Papa is still alive. Because I think That's this a season one. He got eaten by a demogorgon. He, he basically got eaten by a demogorgon. So how he survived that is beyond me. However. We have an idea. We have an idea. In the last episode, there was when they went to the underworld, who was a Nancy and... Oh, Steve, Rob. Eddie, Robin. Right. In, in, in the last episode, Nancy goes to her house, but it's from 1983, and we're in the year 1986. So it's three years before. So is it possible that they were time-traveled and pulled Papa back out? Before he yeah. got eaten? Before now he here's Hopper, who's who is stuck in Russia the whole entire time. Yeah, her that's, biggest that's, complaint. That's, the whole that's your time. biggest complaint. That's your biggest complaint. Whole so. time. Like, we're like, is he going to get out? Is he going to get out? And they even tease us. There he is. They tease us. You think he's going to get out? He's going to be united with Joyce and Murray. Mm -hmm. Murray, who is a really great, funny character. I'm really glad that they brought him Bald, back this Bald season, Eagle, too. Yeah. Um, but no, 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 no. They have to just pull him back in. But you get, you understand why. Because he's, that He's, he's Duke of G.I. Joe. Okay, take it away was, with the Demi Gorgon yeah, scene. With the fight right scene. Oh, that was beautiful. I found that the most entertaining part, watching a Demi Gorgon slaughter everyone. But that was just beautiful, beautiful. And then the blood all over his mouth. And what, <laughs> I and, loved and, it. And that was in the prison in Russia with Hawk. Hopper. Hopper's Duke in this, guys. Yep. He's basically he's Duke and Jesuit. He, he's captured nonstop. How many uh, times did he try to escape? And guys, there's Robert Engleton, who basically is the original Freddy. Freddy Krueger, guys. So he is the father of Vecna. So um here's but he the, doesn't know that. At okay, the time. at this time, yeah. So guys, spoiler alert, so Vecna was born in the 50s as a child. Um, here's the spoiler alert, guys. Give it away. Go so ahead. He, he was he's like eleven. He is number one and he has the magical telekinesis moving with mind powers, but he is pure evil. Right. And and he fooled eleven and we thought eleven at the beginning. It shows eleven killing everyone. It wasn't eleven. It was one. What? Which we were skeptical about because <laughs> we know that she's not that a, a killer. we know she's he not. He killed like everybody. That. So that was a good twist there. So number one, it basically patient number one is 
the villain. He's the one who villain. actually started the whole program with the telekinesis and everything. Mm -hmm. But he's the true villain. He's Vecna. He's Vecna. He's now, Vecna. can we That's just really give cool. a shout out? Can we must say, I I think my favorite episode was actually seeing Max here. Episode my four. My favorite episode, episode honestly, was episode four. I thought it was phenomenal. I thought that the actress Sadie Sink did an amazing job. And just that, just her being kind of drawn in by by Vecna, but fighting against it through the power of her friendship She escaped with her it. Friends. She's the only one who basically escaped. So I thought that was a fantastic episode. That was like my favorite. So how she, um, was, how yeah. she was able to escape was, so they were playing his her favorite song and it pretty much opened a portal. Kate was right up that hill. <laughs> yeah. And she ran to the portal and she was able to come back. Okay, Kate, we'll throw in your two cents worth. So out of 10, what do you give this out of 10? What do you give it out of 10? I give it a I give it a 10 out of 10. Like 10 out of 10? You said this is better in season 3, you think? I think so. I think so. Except very... in season 3, they had a lot of Steve and Dustin, which everyone loves Steve and Dustin. Well, there's a lot of Steve and Dustin in this one, but the, the comedy is down a little bit in this one, no doubt about it. It's got a lot of darker... More action, more, more action, gore. More gore, but it's got that Twilight Zone nightmare, pure nightmare, all three guys, pure, pure, pure... Pure like, homage. And there's the 80s man, you spin me right around, dead or alive. Girls on film are Duran Duran, can't go wrong with that. Yeah, we love the music. We love the music reference. We love like even just the reference to like the these roller are the, skating these are the and fungal the, pops too. the clothing and their attention to detail for each, you know, each for being set in 1986 was like pretty cool. Also, looking at the Max Funko Pop, the reason why she has the headphones is so it pretty much protects her from negative thoughts. And that's right. The music is what saves you. Basically, it triggers a part in the brain where Vecna cannot get to you. It so, gives you happy thoughts. Yeah, it's, it's, which is quite. And there's Robin. I really enjoyed the scene with Robin and Nancy when they went to go and visit um, yeah, the they Victor. They developed, they developed that was actually really that yeah. was part that, I think that, was the funniest sort that of That is scene, a their Hannibal Lecter. That is a yeah. Hannibal Lecter reference of Robert Elton. As, as a father and of Vecna. this is... Uh, Mike. Mike, yeah, I, Mike, I think Mike was a little bit underused. Yeah, this, yeah I, I him and Will were underused. Same with... Um, with Will's brother, yeah. um, Jonathan. Jonathan. Stars on it is definitely, what's her name? The, the red-headed girl. I'm sorry, I've gone blank here. What's Max, Max. Max, Max yeah. I think, is good. Nancy's good. No, Steve's they've awesome. done some Dustin's cool good. cameos. Like, we got to see Dustin's girlfriend, Susie, come back briefly. Yeah. So, it was kind of cool to see some uh, characters from... So, ranking, guys. So, back. me and me and Kay give this uh, 10 out of 10. Uh, we think it's our favorite season. What about you guys? I still love season three. But I, I, I definitely I definitely like the season two. I was, a, I was a bit skeptical at the beginning episode one. Not that it wasn't good, but I, I, there were so many new characters thrown at us. I wasn't sure what they were going with. But yeah. now Rank I get it. Rank it out of 10. Rank now it out of 10, guys. Rank it out of 10. Oh, definitely 10 out of 10. I, along, 10 but out of 10. I thought season three was 10 out of 10, too. So. Very well written, like, guys. The last episode... So much suspense. So what action. do we think is going to come? We have two more episodes coming July 1st. You're definitely going to see more Hopper. You're going to see happen. Hopper more now because he's out of jail, basically. Or out of prison. He's out of Russia. So That was a great reunion scene with him and Joyce and, and let's Marie. see Let's see how so they let's cool. see how they be, beat Vecna. Vecna's still Okay, I want to see them back together in these last two episodes. We need Eleven and Hopper back together. Well, you got to wait till July. Okay, guys, drop a comment below. Let us know what you guys thought of the season and... We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.